Singapore is a vibrant and beautiful global city in Southeast Asia and has a very strong economy. It is a very nice place to live in with lots of tourist attractions drawing in millions of tourists for holiday and expatriates to work here every year. It has a very high gross domestic product per capita income of $61,000 and has retained the world's highest percentage of millionaire in the year 2012. Singapore is also one of the world's leading financial center and has one of the busiest ports. It was also being listed as the second best in quality of living in the world by the Fortune magazine. However, Singapore has one of the highest income inequalities in the world. It has one of the highest Gini coefficients of 0.473, which means that there is a great difference between the income of the poor and the rich. This issue is very controversial as there is no straightforward solution to it and there is no way the solution would result in a win-win situation for both parties. The cause of this problem is due to globalization and technological improvement in the world. The improvement in technology and the substitution of labor by technology has reduced the need of low-skilled workers. This has enabled the skilled workers to be in demand, thus increasing their income. The influx of foreign workers has worsened the issue of income inequality in Singapore as there is a greater competition of jobs, thus resulting in lower paid workers. Incomes of the rich have also been increasing very sharply and those who are rich will continue to do very well while the income of those with a low income will rise very slowly, almost remaining stagnant. Irene Ng from Tampanese GRC mentioned in Parliament that if we continue in this trajectory, we will be an increasingly rich and unequal society with an upper class of the super rich and an underclass. An underclass of Singaporeans stuck in low paying jobs can only lead to more social tension. This problem will lead to severe effects of social stability and cohesion of the citizens. And this definitely concerns the people of Singapore, especially those who are poor and have a low income, as they are the greatest victims of this issue. As Singaporeans, we must make sure that effective policies and actions are taken to ensure that the income gap does not increase any further. Let us view some Singaporeans' perspective and concerns of this issue. Do you think that income inequality is a very uh, serious problem like all over the world? Nah, I don't, I, I'm not sure what I think. No, I am not. And then do you think that anything can be done to improve the situation? No, but um, then, then we actually can talk a little bit about Singapore, but the situation in Singapore is quite good, I think, okay. compared to other areas, other countries. Okay. So, so you feel that the situation in Singapore is still counted okay compared to other yeah. countries like USA? Yeah, and if you yeah, see other countries, other country, yeah, yeah, definitely. See other countries in Asia and region. So, do you think that anything can be done to help improve it further? I mean, as long as the situ situation is stable here in Singapore, I think it will continue to be quite okay. Because that means that money is still coming into the country here. Okay. So, but it's, it's difficult questions for me okay. when, uh, when I'm then, not here. Uh, what's the occupation? Uh, I'm a service manager. Okay. 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 Do you see income inequality in Singapore as a very grave issue? Income equality, yeah, I think I think it is a, a big issue. There's uh, there's the average income. I think what is it, fifteen hundred dollars a month? But there's a lot of people who earn a lot more than that. It's quite expensive to live in Singapore. Uh, do you think that the system of meritocracy in Singapore is fair? Because the intellectual people will get high-paying jobs while the rest will have low pay. That's hard to fix the system because that's how it is globally. But I think what Singapore is trying to do to adjust that is ensure that everyone has good access to education, and that's the starting point. If you could educate even the underprivileged, then I think that gives them a chance to get higher paid jobs in the future. What do you think the government can do to improve the situation? Uh, once again, offering a very good education to uh, underprivileged to help them break the cycle. Uh, I'm uh, in, uh, in finance. As can be seen, there are many perspectives of this issue and some people may feel that it's not a very big problem as they do not see the seriousness of it. Singapore could be a possibility to solve the problem, but increasing the taxes could also lead to many other problems. Increasing taxes could result in social discontentment and also discourage high income expenditures. According to a news article by Channel News Asia, low wage workers form 20% of Singapore's workforce and they earn a gross monthly income of less than $1,200. Hence, in order to address the issue of income inequality, 
we must approach the problem by focusing on improving the salaries and opportunities of those who are at the lower end of the income ladder. Workers should also be given the chance to further upgrade their skills or even further their education in order to enrich their own knowledge. Additionally, authorities should also reduce the burden of the goods and services tax for essential items like rice and milk on lower income families. Currently, Singapore does not have a minimum wage policy being implemented. Singaporeans should write in letters to the Straits Times or voice it out in the forums. They can also come together and sign petitions to urge the government to set the minimum wage an employee can get. Hence, we urge Singaporeans to, to take action and lend these poor and low-wage workers a helping hand. It will make their lives a whole lot better.